Okay, so I hope you are doing well and in today's talk we are going to understand why the acceptance uh, intake for NDMA that is n nitroso dimethyl amine is 96 nanograms per day. So this is one of the n nitrosamine and uh, in this video we will try to understand what is the logic behind the acceptable intake for NDMA as a 96 nanograms per day. So if you look at the US FDA guidance on to the nitrosamine, you will find that the acceptable intake for NDMA is 96 nanogram per day. And then there are few more nitrosamines provided along with their acceptable intake. So the NDMA is identified as a mutagenic carcinogen in several species. There are studies available. And according to those studies, it is identified as the mutagenic carcinogen. And based on to this animal study, the NDMA is also called as a possible human carcinogen. And not only that, if you look at the ICHM7 guideline, you will find that there are certain group of compounds which are classified as the covert of concern, which are highly toxic having TD50 value less than 1.5 milligram per kg per day. So this nitrosamine are classified under cohort of concern. And the NDMA is one out of them. So the acceptable intake is derived by linear extrapolation from TD50 value. So if you look at the ICH guideline, you will find that there is a mention of TD50 to understand the acceptable intake for the mutagenic impurities. So what is mean by TD50 value? Now this is the exposure of the substance impurity which results into a tumor into a 50 percentage of the studied population. So for example, if you start your study with uh, 60 number of species, 60, 60, and then you will keep on dosing the substance uh, according to a protocol. So you need to identify what is the exposure or the concentration that can result a tumor into a 30 number of species. And that concentration becomes your TD50. So once you understand the TD50 value, then understand the possibility of developing a tumor in one species out of 1 lakh or 10 raised to 5 spaces over a period of entire lifespan and the 70 years is considered as a lifespan for human being. Understand the risk of having a tumor in 1 species out of 1 lakh spaces and that is the concentration of your acceptable intake. This is called as the very conservative approach which is defined by ICHM7. So, if you look at the NDMA's TD50 values, you will find two different TD50s available for the NDMA. The first one is 0 0.0959 mg per kg per day, which is for the rat and based on the Pito et al. study. The second TD50 value for NDMA is 0 0.189 mg per kg per day. And it has been found in the mouse according to the CPDB database. The CPDB database is the database talks about the carcinogenic potency database for the substances. And if you are looking for the limit, the acceptable intake for probably the newly identified nitrosamine, don't forget to look into this database because this database is quite extensive in its nature and there are TD50 values available for many such compounds. Now what do you think amongst this which TD50 value should have been considered by USMDA or EMA for calculation of acceptable intake and the conservative value that is for the rat is considered for further calculation of acceptable intake. 
The 0.959 milligram per kg per day is more conservative as compared to 0.189 uh, milligram per kg per day value. So to be on safer side, all the regulators have considered the more conservative value. And now this is the calculation formula for acceptable intake in milligram per day for the human consumption. The TD50 into human body weight divided by 50,000. Look at the unit part. And once you now substitute these values over here, the TD50 values is uh, 0 0.0959. The 50 kg is the, the human body weight which is considered by the regulators. Divided by 50,000, you will come to a value which is 0 0.000959 milligram per day. Now, if you convert this value into a nanogram by just multiply, multiplying the figure by 10 raised to 6, you will find approximately 95.9 nanogram or about 96 nanogram per day as the limit for NDMA. And this is the acceptable intake for NDMA. Uh, which is uh, referred into the USMDA and EMA guidelines. So this approach, this calculation formula can be used for calculation of acceptable intake for any mutagenic compound. Thank you so much.